This is Pythagoras. He was born in approximately 570 BC on the island of Samos in Greece. Now, if you were to ask my opinion on Pythagoras, I would say he's one of the most influential mathematicians of all time. Um, after watching this presentation, you'll find out why. I hope you enjoy. Pythagoras had two or three brothers, and his father was a gem merchant. He was always very interested in mathematics, philosophy, and astronomy. In around 535 BC, Pythagoras left Samos to travel to Egypt to study among priests. Pythagoras learned much in Egypt, but ten years after his arrival, Egypt was conquered by the Persians, and Pythagoras was captured and taken to Babylon as a prisoner. By 520 BC, Pythagoras was once again a free man. He left Babylon and returned to Samos, and started a school called the Semicircle. His methods of teaching, however, were not well received by the leaders of Samos, so he decided to leave. He moved to an area called Crotona, a Greek colony in southern Italy. There, he started a new school and gained many followers. His followers called themselves Pythagoreans, and they worked together on great mathematical discoveries and theories. Pythagoras was very interested in music and math, and at his school, the Semicircle, he taught and studied many topics, but some of his greatest discoveries include the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, used to find the hypotenuse of a right triangle. He also discovered that the sum of all the angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees, no matter how big or how small the triangle is. And finally, he discovered that celestial bodies, such as planets and stars, were spherical instead of flat, which is a very revolutionary um, discovery for his time period. But interestingly enough, the semicircle was a very secretive organization. And technically, some of the work that came out of there could be his students, but he's just credited with everything the semicircle came up with because he's the founder of the school. Kind of getting to a little mystery there. Interesting. Pythagoras remained in Italy, teaching, until his death around 490 BC. Pythagoras paved the way for future mathematicians such as Aristotle and left a lasting impact on the mathematical community as we know it today.